Welcome back to What's Inside. I'm Lincoln, this is Dan, and today we're at the Phoenix Zoo. We came here because we wanted to see what's inside of a rattlesnake rattle. A lot of you guys have recommended that, and I thought that's a really cool idea. But before we just cut open a rattlesnake rattle, we gotta come to the zoo and see a bunch of snakes. Phoenix Zoo. My dad bought this rattlesnake rattle on eBay from a guy in Texas and we brought it here to compare. So here's our rattle that we got from Rattlesnake in Texas. Here's one on an actual snake as he slithers away. That's not a rattlesnake, but that dude is creepy. Oh, how would you like to come across that guy? That would be, that would freak me out. I would go running in the other direction. Oh, look at this guy's head. Where is it? Oh, he has a big old body. We're back home from the really cool zoo in Arizona, and now it's time to cut this rattlesnake rattle open. That was a great zoo, and we brought this rattlesnake rattle all the way home. You can hear it through the plastic bags. One thing that we learned over there is that there's 36 different species of rattlesnakes in the world. Scary. That's a lot. I've seen rattlesnakes on the golf course and then while hiking through the mountains in the rock areas of southern Utah and Arizona. That scare me so bad. But the cool thing is, they obviously if you're not familiar with the rattlesnake, they put their tail up and then they shake this away, shake this rattle, and then that's what keeps predators away. So it's interesting because these guys can shake this thing 50 times Every, what do you think? Second. Every second. And they can do it sustained for up to three or four hours. Your job today, Lincoln, why don't you take it out and then put it on this paper towel. Whoa! That feels really weird. It's like, you can move it so easily. All right, so lift it up from the body part of it. Oh! Like right there part of it and try to shake it. So you can kind of make the noise like, Like that kind of? Well, they do it 50 times in a second. So. I can't do it. I can't move this thing 50 times. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take this razor blade and just cut into it. Eek. All right, let's go right down, do you think? Right down the middle? Yeah, that would be good. Like that. That's gonna hurt the table. I should probably put something underneath it. <laughs> okay, we got a cutting board. Now it doesn't, it's not gonna scratch the table when I cut through this, so let's go. Dude, that's hard. That's hard material right there. I don't think it's designed for people to cut them in half. Yeah, these are tough. Oh. Sounds kinda gross. It is kind of gross. <laughs> oh. oh. Yuck. Oh. Ripped it in half. Ripped it in half. <laughs> Let's try opening it up a little bit and see what it looks like. Yucky. There's nothing inside of it. Look at that, it just has this little shell type material on the outside. That's really interesting. It's not, there's no balls inside of it that make it rattle or anything. If, if I squeeze it hard, watch this, I'm barely squeezing squeeze almost the entire thing. So at birth for a rattlesnake, the first button is on there. It's called the pre-button. And then a few days later, they get their first button on top of it, and it's called the button. 
but it still doesn't make any noise until they get the second layer on top of it. That way it can shake and they can hit on each other and make the noise. Now, sometimes people think that the longer the rattle, that the older that the snake is. Not necessarily true because a lot of times they lose them, whether they're in a fight or a predator comes and gets them or they lose it in between a rock and they'll lose some of the buttons. But every time that they shed their skin, a new layer is grown on the end of it. It still is disgusting that this was on a snake once. <laughs> Take a smell of it, see what it smells like, the body of it. Oh, it smells like dog! Uh, dog. <laughs> it's nasty. <laughs> so with a lot of our videos, we like to post little things on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook to kind of show what we're up to. So if you're not following us on there, go follow us and you can keep up to date before the videos come out. Thanks to everyone that recommended that we cut open a rattlesnake rattle. And if you have any other good ideas of things that we should cut open and explore, just let us know. Look, it's like we're in the jungle, except there's an airplane about to land in the jungle. See those guys, Lincoln? I had to do a school project on this when I went to Arizona State on these guys. Do they, do they usually bite and stand on top of them? <laughs>